If you're into RC, you've probably seen these before. They're commonly referred to as push rods or control rods. And the interesting thing about these is that the rod end contains a ball joint that allows for multiple directions of movement at the same time. You commonly see these used for steering and suspension setups in RC cars. One thing about these rods is that they can be very expensive and oftentimes it's really hard to find the right one that'll fit your setup. So that got me thinking, can we 3D print these? Let's find out. I've put together this design in Fusion 360. It's very straightforward and I've made everything parametric so you can easily tweak the dimensions. For anyone that's interested, you can get these files on my website and I'll leave a link in the description below. All I did was simply create a spherical cutout in the center of the rod end where the ball will be. And the cutout has a slightly larger diameter than the ball to allow for smooth movement. But this difference in diameter was something that I had to experiment with. The material I'll be using for these prints is PETG at 100% infill. This is probably the best option to give us maximum strength. You can also see that they only take a few minutes to print, so you could basically print a whole bunch of these and it only costs pennies. First of all, I started off on a larger scale because I wasn't even sure if this would work or not. First I tried a gap of 1mm. This was a little too much and allowed for just too much wobble in the ball joint. I then tried 0.25mm, which was obviously a long shot especially since my printer has a 0.4mm nozzle. The gap was too small, the ball had bonded with the socket and therefore it couldn't move. The sweet spot turned out to be 0.5mm and as you can see this allows for very smooth movement with minimal wobble. Now that I had a bit more confidence that this could actually work, I decided to scale them down to be more like the aluminium rods I showed at the start of the video. As you can see this also went very well, using the same 0.5mm gap as before. For the actual rod itself, I'm using some 3mm smooth rods that I had lying around. These are really cheap and you can pick them up on the likes of eBay for just a few pounds. One of the great things about the aluminium rods is that they're adjustable and lockable using a nut. This is crucial for getting your wheel alignment set up properly and also just great for experimentation with the toe of the wheels. For this demonstration I'll just be using the smooth rods but you could easily make these 3D printed parts adjustable since 3D printed parts will self thread. So you'll either need to use a tap and die to create a thread on a smooth rod or you can just buy M3 threaded rods instead. In all honesty I was quite surprised how well these turned out. Is it as strong as aluminium? Of course not but it's a lot cheaper and it might still do a good job. If you want to find out how well these things hold up, I'm planning to use them in my four wheel drive RC build. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel not to miss that. As I said, if you want to have a play around with these, I'll leave a link in the description below where you can go and download the files. If you do get a chance to test them out, let me know how it goes. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.